This section walks us through initializing the repo client, which is basically the tool that manages all the Git repositories needed to build Android. First step, we create a new working directory where all the source code will live. Keep in mind, this thing's huge, it can take up over 300 gigabytes of space, so plan ahead. Then we run repo init. We are passing a few flags here. Partial clone helps reduce the initial download size. No use super project tells repo not to use the super project feature. And be Android latest release means we want the latest official Android release branch. The U flag provides the URL for the manifest repo, which is like the blueprint of the source tree. Once that's done, we should see a confirmation that repo has been initialized in the current directory. Alright, now let's jump into the terminal and actually run these commands. First, I'll create the working directory with mkdir and cd into it. Then I'll run the repo init command with all the required flags. This part usually takes a minute or two to set everything up. Once we get the message saying repo has been initialized, we are good to go. Repo initialization is now complete. Next up is Repo Sync. The C flag makes sure we only pull the current branch, and J8 speeds things up by using 8 parallel threads. Now heads up, this sync can take over an hour depending on your internet speed and storage, so maybe go grab a coffee while it's working. Once it's done, we'll have the full Android source tree ready to build. Let's do it! During the repo sync, I encountered some issues caused by network instability. To work around this, I had to sync the repo using a single process. Repo sync with J1. The repo sync was successful. As I mentioned earlier, I encountered a network latency issue during the process. If you face a similar problem, try syncing the repo using a single process to avoid such issues. Now let's launch the lunch menu. We have one issue here. This happens starting Android 14 builds. The system fails to show the lunch menu. There is a solution to this. If you try using the lunch directly like this, it's not going to work. I found this solution in XDA forums. First, 
Export the target underscore release variable by running export target underscore release equals AP tour. Next, run the command build underscore build underscore var underscore cache. After this run lunch and you will be able see the lunch menu. Let's go ahead and build the emulator. I am choosing automotive build in this case. If you need phone build, please select the build accordingly. The build was successful without any issues. Sorry I missed to take video capture of it. Now let's start the emulator. The settings app is already open, since I tried opening the emulator earlier before capturing this video. In your case, you should see the launcher. Thank you. That's all for this video. Please give it a try on your end and feel free to reach out if you run into any issues. I hope this session was helpful.